yes so as of now we have seen you know how to run the fail test cases okay now every time suppose every time you know i'm running the test cases uh, suppose i'm running four test cases two are getting passed and two are getting fail okay so this is might be because of network issue server might be down or any other issue right so after running all the test cases after running all the test cases okay i want to run again whatever test cases got fail without manual intervention that is without you know manual intervention that's what i told without you know doing any click in single click okay so once i'll do run this suit i don't have to run again you know failure test cases automatically once the execution of the entire suit will be completed again it should go and execute the failure test cases automatically without any manual intervention okay here i don't know what we are doing we are executing then we are going you know we are going to the test ng dot hyphen fail dot xml and we are doing right click and we are running the fail test cases right as of now manually we are doing now how we can you know automate without you know manual intervention so i want to you know run all thousand test cases once thousand test cases got executed then again go and check if any failed test cases there re execute once okay re execute once then again how we can execute so that we are going to see so this again in test ng we have a feature okay retry count we can give we can write some logic as well okay to you know read on the test cases or fail test cases okay we can give the count how many times you want to run the fail test cases and all okay so i have lots of you know we have lots of annotation in test ng to you know achieve that particular thing but as of now our main goal is how to run this test ng iphone failed or xml file without you know doing manual uh, intervention okay so for that we have a we have one class called test ng so test ng you know as of now we are knowing one framework only right but we have a, a class also called test ng okay in uh, test ng so let me create that class okay let me create that class so uh, not class so let me create one you know class which will be you know final uh final run okay which will execute finally okay or i'll just create here so as of now i have created one test failure java i'll just create one more class called final test okay i'll just called final test final test or final run okay so after test case got executed i want to run finally one more class which will be having detail of you know fail test cases so i'll just write so i'll just write again you know create one method call public void and final run something okay so final run test final run test okay something like this okay you can give any name so final test i want to run so this test should run once my entire suit got executed so what i can make it at the rate after after suit after suite after suit i can make it right so what happened whatever class i'm running in one suit in one suit whatever i'm running one suit right here you will see what i'm doing i'm running one suit okay so after once this in this suit thousand test cases will be there one this once this test case uh, execution of this suit once this test suit got executed all thousand test cases got executed now i want to run something which will be having detail of what fail test cases so that's what i'm giving what after suit so first what we'll do it will check all the test cases it will execute everything once all the suit means once this suit will be executed then after that suit it is going to pick something which i want to write the logic for you know to run the fail test cases okay so okay let's observe okay so in test ng so we have one class called test ng okay and in test ng class we have one method called set test suit set test suit in that i can set the suit okay so i can set the simple what suit i can test i can set the suit location of this test hyphen field dot xml in that okay and which will run when after suit okay this is very simple example so what i will do i'll create uh, first i want to if i want to access that method present inside test ng so what i need i need to create object of test ng okay so i'll create object of test ng okay test ng is a class so if you'll see here so it is com dot bus dot test ng okay or uh, here also org dot test ng i'll create okay org dot test ng okay test ng t is equal to new 
test ng okay so i'll just create one test ng class so test ng class i have created now i need to call that method call set test suit so t dot set set you know test suit set test shoot i need to search suit see see this one this class okay so this method actually okay so my filter type is white so this method i want to call okay but this method when i'll call so this is asking what give list of string so give a list what suit so i have to pass the you know suit details which suit you want to set okay so i'll just but this will uh, it, it is asking what parameter so list of a string list of a string it is asking so multiple suit might be there right so as of now we'll see so it is asking for you know list so i'll just create you know one array list okay for this because i can create list also and array list also so since uh, we can we can't you know create a list object because this is what interface so i'll create array list simple no problem at all okay so simple i'll create i'll create array list i'll create one array list okay so which will take what a string okay so i'll just restrict to the string i'll restrict this array list to the string give some reference suppose list list is equal to new array list array list okay then again this is restricting to only string string okay so that's all so i have created you know array list array list object i have created so java.util this present so i just importing so array list object created so now in this array list as of now nothing is there okay so you have already gone through array list 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 set and queue so if you have not gone through collection concept so go through this array list concept and it is very easy nothing is there in this okay so just i have created an array list object which will take a string uh, parameter only so just i want to as of now this array list is what empty nothing is there now i want to add something because this list reference i need to pass here so as of now nothing is there right if, if nothing is there what is the use of sending this list so as of now i can pass this list here okay so error will go right but as of now nothing is there in the list so i need to pass this location of this you know failed test failed uh, test ng hyphen failed dot xml okay so now i need to pass this right so what i will do i will just you know i will just add this list dot add method is there you already know if you have gone through the collection so i in, in this location what i can do i can add this field test ng hyphen field dot xml so i'll just go to properties i'll copy this path okay i'll copy this entire path copy okay okay so copy is done i'll paste it here done so i have copied the field test cases okay done now i want to run this so again t dot in test ng class we have one method called run done what it will do run that's all so that's all about you know it will take care of everything now okay so now what we'll do in the you know shoot where is that shoot i'll just go to regression you know here so now i'll add here only one class is there what test ng uh, just failure okay so i will add more class but this class name is what final run right final run so this is very simple you have already gone through with xml test xml so here i'm adding one more class so now in this you know this regression same suit two classes are there okay test failure and final run okay so this is entire suit so what once entire suit will be done okay once entire suit will be done then then my this final run you know final uh, run test should execute eh? okay then what it will do it will execute this field hyphen uh, test ng hyphen field dot xml file and whatever failed test cases will be there it will execute only okay so let's execute in the next